Dropshipping on Amazon in 2024 has never been easier, but without knowing how to set up your account, what products to sell, what suppliers to use, and how to put your business on autopilot, your chances of making it are pretty low. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you how you can start, run, and manage a successful dropshipping store on Amazon so that by the end, you'll have all of the tools and resources that you'll need, even if you have no prior experience and a low budget. And I'm not just gonna leave it at that. I've also prepared this Amazon dropshipping cheat sheet with all of the resources and links that you'll need. All you have to do is comment hashtag Amazon 2024 and I'll reply back with the link. Take it from someone with over seven years of dropshipping experience and hundreds of video tutorials on AutoDS's YouTube channel. This is the only Amazon dropshipping video you'll need for 2024. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the action and learn how to start dropshipping on Amazon. So first of all, and really quickly, what exactly is dropshipping on Amazon? So we all know that Amazon is a huge marketplace with thousands of sellers selling their products. Now, some of these sellers are selling from their own inventory. So they're purchasing inventory up front and they're selling it either using Amazon's warehouses or their own. Other sellers like us are using the dropshipping business model. This means that we're also selling our products on Amazon, only we're not holding them in stock and we're not putting any money up front in inventory in advance. We only pay for the products after we get an order, after we receive payments from our customers on our online stores. We then forward the order details to our suppliers and we ship it directly to our buyers. That is the dropshipping business model. It's been working for years and it's growing exponentially every year. And now that we can automate our dropshipping business on Amazon, it makes it so much better because it's easier to scale and really hit it to the big numbers. Now, there are two types of selling methods on Amazon, the FBA or fulfilled by Amazon service or merchant by Amazon. Fulfilled by Amazon means that sellers are sending their products to Amazon's warehouses and they're letting Amazon take care of the fulfillment for them. So this way, Amazon takes care of the logistics, but this is a really expensive model and dropshipping is all about the easy entry barrier with a really low upfront investment. So we're not gonna be sending goods in advance to Amazon's warehouses. We're gonna be using Merchant by Amazon, which means that we're not sending any items to Amazon's warehouses. We're gonna ship them out ourselves, as I just explained, through our dropshipping suppliers, all of which I will get to soon. So what we're actually gonna do here while dropshipping on Amazon is simply to win the buy box. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So here is my Amazon seller account. And so I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do in order to start your own seller account. So this one is called Ecom Drop LLC. And as you see, I've got two products right here. This is a toy for pets and I've got two different variations here. But where did I get this product from? I didn't actually create the product on Amazon. What I did was I found a seller who sells selling this product on Amazon and I simply entered his buy box. In other words, I added myself as another seller who's also selling the same exact product. So what does it actually mean to enter and win the buy box? Take a look at my account right here, for example, and soon I'm gonna show you what you need to do to start your own account and how to find these products and so forth. But this is just for the example. Now this is a pet toy button product and I didn't create the listing on Amazon. I simply entered the buy box. So what does this mean? Here is the original product listing. And as we can see, this product is being sold by me by e-commerce drop LLC instead of being sold by Amazon, which means that we're using fulfilled by Amazon, which again is not the case here. We are the sellers and we are the ones who are shipping it out. But I didn't actually create this listing on Amazon. It already existed there. I just found a seller who's selling this product. I found their supplier and I was able to offer a cheaper price for this product. And because I'm offering a cheaper price and I ship around the same time or faster than the original seller, then I'm entering his buy box and Amazon is going to put me on top of the buy box. That is why we're seeing that it's sold from me and it's shipped from me, even though I did not create this listing. Here is the original seller. We can see him right down here where we can see other sellers on Amazon. So he's actually selling this variation for $88.55, whereas I'm selling it for $69.99. And that is why I am the winner of this buy box. So if the customer adds this product to their cart and checks out, I'm going to get the order instead of the other seller. If I click here, we can see the other seller. His name is Shang Zing Home Furnishing Store, but his shipping takes longer and he is more expensive. I ship within two to three days because once again, I found this product through AliExpress, shipped from a US warehouse, as we can see right here, shipping with seven day delivery to the United States via USPS, and it only cost me $25.49, where I'm selling it for $69.99. Of course, there's another variation over here for $150. That's the second variation that I've got right here for $150. And we can see it right here on AliExpress. 
it costs $52. So I'm marking up my prices by about times three from the original price and I'm still making a lot of profit. So this is what it means by entering the buy box, being cheaper, shipping faster, and I'm gonna show you everything you need to know on how to do this and also put everything on automation. So first of all, in order to get started, we need to register for our Amazon seller account. You have a link to it, it's sellercentral.amazon.com. And I've also got a link to the verification process so that you'll understand exactly what you need to go through. But basically it's broken down to these simple steps. The first is entering your personal information, like your name, your address, etc. Then your payment and bank information so that you can pay Amazon or you can get paid by Amazon once of course you start getting your orders. You'll need a government issued ID, a bank or credit card statement that proves that you are who you say you are. And you might also need a video verification meeting with one of Amazon's representatives just so that they can see you and once again verify that you are who you say you are. Now this may seem pretty tedious but it's actually pretty simple and you can do it from anywhere around the world. This means that no matter where you live, for example you can live in the United Kingdom and you can sell on Amazon US while passing the same verification in order to do that. And that is step number one for starting your Amazon dropshipping business. Now once your account is up and verified you'll be greeted with the Amazon Seller Central dashboard that pretty much looks like this. And from here you're gonna start navigating around and build your store but it's actually very simple you will not need to use all of these links but basically here you have the catalog where you can add products manually even though I'm gonna show you how to do it the automatic way you can check out all your inventory or all of your products your pricing your orders you can also run advertising marketing campaigns on your products to get more clicks and more sales even though this will require a starting budget and more links which we don't need to get to in this video because you most likely will not be using them while drop shipping we're gonna keep things simple simple and learn exactly what we need in order to start and succeed. So once you have your Amazon account up and running, the next thing that you want to do is choose your Amazon selling plan. Now here's the thing with selling plans. Amazon will automatically start you with a professional plan that costs $40 a month. So this obviously requires a starting budget. Now you can downgrade that to an individual account and pay $0 and only pay once your products actually sell. Only in this way you will not be able to automate your business. But if you really want to make it and scale and succeed and have a network of successful dropshipping stores all running on complete automation and autopilot, you will need a professional plan so that you can connect it to AutoDS and start automating automating every aspect of your business, all of which I will show you soon. Plus, without the professional plan, you will not be able to choose better shipping and faster shipping in order to win buy boxes, just like I did in the example over here, where I wasn't limited to only a few shipping options, therefore giving me the lowest price and also being able to offer free shipping. You cannot do that with the individual plan. So if you're not ready to sell yet, start with the individual plan, learn your way around and then move to professional once you wanna start selling. But do not start selling with individual because you simply will not be able to win buy boxes, you will not be able to automate your business and drop ship the right way. And of course you can read more about the differences. I've got the link to it inside the cheat sheet. But again, you can add multiple users to your account. You can easily build your brand around it you can compete to be a featured offer you'll be able to create promotions and coupons and so much more so those are the two types of amazon selling plans but let's talk about the more important thing because we're drop shipping we're obviously making the profit between the source price or how much we're paying our supplier for the product to how much we're actually selling it for on amazon so in this example if i'm buying the product let's say for 50 dollars and i'm selling it for 150 dollars i'm making about a hundred dollars in profit selling this product but that does not include the selling fees. So let's go over the selling fees or in other words the referral fees as Amazon likes to call it. And this depends on what type of product we're selling, what category it belongs in. So here under referral fees we can understand exactly how much fee we're going to pay Amazon for every time we make a sale. So here, for example, well, this is a really expensive fee, but we're not gonna sell Amazon devices. We're not authorized to do so, we're drop shipping. But let's say we're gonna sell baby products because there are millions of baby products that we can resell. In this case, Amazon is gonna take 8% transaction fee with a total price of $10 or less, but most likely we're gonna sell for more than $10, meaning we're gonna pay a total of 15% transaction fee when we sell baby products that cost over $10. So for example, if you sell a baby product that costs $100, you're gonna pay a 15% fee. 
which means $15 to Amazon. So you're actually gonna make $85 and then you're gonna have to subtract the source price, how much the product actually cost you. And that's gonna be your actual profit, not counting of course the referral fee minimum amounts. And the referral fee minimum amount is 30 cents. So if the 15% or 10% or however much you paid doesn't equal 30 cents, then that's the minimum that you're gonna pay. So we've got baby products around 15%, backpacks, handbags, luggage, also great for drop shipping about 15%. Beauty, health, personal care, also a great category for drop shipping, 15% transaction fees. Business, industrial, scientific supplies, 12%. Clothing and accessories, 17%. Consumer electronics, 8%, and so forth. You get the point. So if you wanna understand exactly what your fees are and how much you're gonna be profiting at the end of the day, you need to get to know Amazon's referral fees. Once again, the link is inside the cheat sheet. So that's a little bit about choosing an Amazon selling plan and understanding your fees so that you'll know exactly how much you're profiting. So we finished the first two steps, creating our Amazon account and choosing our selling plan. Just three more steps to go in order to finish our five steps and start making sales. Soon I'm gonna show you how to set your shipping policies, return policies and everything else. But now we're gonna move over to product research. We're gonna learn how to find products that are actually gonna sell on our Amazon stores and products that we can enter the buy box. We cannot enter every product's buy box and I'm gonna show you exactly how this works and how to find these trending products. Now, product research is super important because there are millions of products that we can sell. So how can we actually know which products are the right ones? This part can take hours and hours and days and weeks of research, but I've already done all of that for you and here are the shortcuts. So my first go-to for finding trending products to sell is the AutoDS Marketplace and Winning Products Hub. Now, if you're wondering what is this AutoDS that I keep talking about, it is an automation software solution for your Amazon stores or for anywhere else that you want to sell on that connects you between your suppliers and your selling channels. It'll help us automate our business with all of the suppliers that we want to work with while we're dropshipping on Amazon. I'm gonna go over all of that soon, but AutoDS has a lot going on inside, not just automation, but it also helps us with product research, product sourcing, and more things that I'm gonna go over soon. But right now, to invest $1 to start your trial and get all of the things that I'm gonna show you in this video is truly worth your while. So when it comes to product research, there's the marketplace that looks like this. And inside the marketplace, we also have winning products. Now, both of them have really trendy products. The marketplace also has lots of private suppliers that we can use under AutoDS suppliers. And here you can hook up with private suppliers, sell really trendy products. And it also gives you the ability to brand your products like this backpack over here. As we can see, it says customizable branding. And what this means is every time you make a sale with this product, you can ship it out with your own brand and logo on it. So this is one of the cool things. And we can also send messages to these private suppliers, start negotiating better prices, look for better products and so forth. So there's a marketplace where we have lots of trending products that we can add to our stores. And then there's also the winning products hub where here we're getting a lot more product information inside. For example, as I scroll through, we can see all of these trendy products. And if I open, for example, one of these products, like let's say, let's go with this inflatable air travel pillow over here, then we're gonna get much more product information inside. And this is gonna give us a great idea of what products are trending right now. For example, we can see the TikTok ad copy right here that got over 48,000 likes. And this is the seller's website. We also have a link to it so we can see what they're doing that's selling this product well. Only this is not an Amazon store, but this does show us a really profitable product that's being sold for $44, sourced for just around $5, leaving the seller with a potential profit of about $40. And we also have target audience information and more things like that. And this is one of the things that the winning products hub has to offer. So this is gonna get you a good idea of what products you can sell. And soon I'm gonna show you how we're gonna find a product from here and actually be able to sell it on Amazon. So this is one great place that's gonna get you lots of product ideas that are working. Let's open another one and then I'll show you other product examples. Then we're gonna come back here and I'm gonna show you how you can add these products to your stores and start making sales. So this is another one, this Shiatsu neck and back massager. Okay, soon I'm gonna try to add this product to my Amazon store. And as we can see, this ad copy right here has almost 4,000 likes, over 800 comments, almost 800 shares. So we can see that it's really popular Popular. This product is in demand. And one of the things that I love about the winning products hub is it has fresh products that's trending right now. These are not old products that were trending a year or two years ago. Right now what's happening and you can get these product examples 
and start to sell them on your Amazon stores. I'm gonna show you how to do that really soon, but let's go over the other product research methods that we have. So one again is the marketplace and the winning products hub. You can start that with a $1 trial and get hundreds of winning product ideas that are trending right now. And you don't always have to sell the same products. You can also sell those that are similar to best sellers, those that are less saturated. And again, I'm gonna show you how to do that soon. The other product research method is the product finding blog articles. This is absolutely free. Anyone can have access to it. Again, you have a link to it inside the Amazon dropshipping cheat sheet. If you want access to it, all you have to do is comment hashtag Amazon 2024. Let me know what is your top takeaway from this video. And I'm gonna reply back with a link to this cheat sheet. And when you click on the link to the product finding blog articles, you're gonna move over to this blog page that has tons of winning products that you can sell. And as I scroll down the product finding articles, you can see this one, for example, the best dropshipping products to sell on your Amazon store. And there are many more articles like this. You have embedded videos inside or you can read. So if you're the type that likes to watch, you can watch. If you're the type that likes to read, you can read through the articles and get all of these product ideas and start selling them on your stores. We broke it down to categories and we narrowed down the best selling products under each category. So you have a lot of products here that you can sell and it'll also give you a great idea of what products and categories you actually can sell, all of which I will also teach you soon. So there's the product finding blog articles, tons of free content over there. There's also the sell these now YouTube playlist. So what we're doing here in these blog articles, in these YouTube playlists, is we're gathering years and years of data with our huge database and our own experience in dropshipping and all of this content, all of these winning products are up for grabs. Again, everything here is absolutely free. Just invest your time and gain the knowledge, take shortcuts after years and years of product research. So you can watch the videos here, learn more about what products are trending right now. We're updating the blog articles at least twice a week. We're updating our videos at least three times a week. So there's always fresh new content on our blog page on our YouTube channel and on the winning products hub and AutoDS marketplace. The next place to learn about winning products and here you can do it live with me is inside AutoDS's live Q and A's. So I host these live Q and A's every two weeks and here I go live with you and I share with you how I find these products and I share new products that are trending in the market so that you can take these examples, sell them on your stores and start making your sales and profit. Not only that, but I also give you one-on-one -on -one advice. So anyone who's writing in the chat is gonna get a reply for me, is gonna get an answer, a solution. And this way you'll really have a live one-on-one -on -one absolutely for free with a seasoned professional. So I've got the link to the winning products live Q and A's inside the cheat sheet, but also a link so that you can register for free to the next live so that you won't miss it. Just enter your name and email address. You've got the counter. You'll get a reminder when the next live Q and A is going to take place. While I'm recording this video, I have one day and one hour for the next live session. So make sure not to miss them by registering to the live Q and A's and learn about more winning products and how I actually get to these products so that you can copy the same practices and start having success on your stores. The next product research method where you can find tons of products to resell is inside Amazon's bestsellers and Amazon's movers and shakers. These are two categories inside Amazon, again, offered to you absolutely for free, where you can find more trending products. The only thing here is that you need to understand what categories you actually can sell in. For example, you do not wanna sell these Apple AirTags because Apple is trademarked. I'm gonna go a little bit over that soon, but here you have lots of bestsellers so you can get an idea of what products are trending and movers and shakers shows you the biggest gainers over the last 24 hours. So these are the products that are trending hot right now. Again, the only thing is you need to know what you can resell. So again, we're gonna go over that in just a couple of minutes. So Amazon's best sellers and movers and shakers, again, links to that in the dropshipping cheat sheet. And we've got the AliExpress dropshipping center. This is a great place to find more trending products. So the link to the blog article to learn all about that is again in the cheat sheet below. And of course, with the embedded video inside and this will take you through every step of how to take advantage of AliExpress's dropshipping center and find lots of trending products that of course you can sell on your Amazon store. This was created for free by AliExpress to help dropshippers understand what products are trending right now. You'll have a sales history, you'll have a nice chart showing you how well these products are performing, if they're new, if they're old, how saturated or unsaturated they are. So I'm not going to go over it now, you've got all of the content below. So those are all of the free or super low budget 
ways to find trending products to sell and these shortcuts are more than enough to find your first winning products to sell and actually be able to sell them instead of just letting them gather dust because you didn't do any proper product research by simply not learning how to do it the right way. Now let's go over some of the paid solutions. Now you will need to set a budget for these solutions. So if you got an extra budget for product research, you can use these paid tools that are also proven to find you winning products to sell. One is Jungle Scout. Now I've already installed their extension so I can show you how that works. And the extension is free to use. It's not gonna work for all products, but it's gonna work for a lot. And Jungle Scout simply helps you understand and find what products are trending on Amazon right now. Same goes for Helium 10. Helium 10 is one of Jungle Scout's main competitors and they do pretty much the same thing just with their own layout and some of their own features. So they all have their pros and their cons. You have the links to them. You can learn all about them. There's a couple of other companies that do a great job helping you find winning products to sell on Amazon like Sellerboard and Seller App. I'm not going to go over them now because most people who are at the beginning of their dropshipping journeys don't have that much of a budget. So if you do, you can check it out. If not, just go to the methods that I talked about under the free product research methods. Believe me, it's more than enough to get started and make your first sales. Now let's talk a little bit about products that we need to avoid drop shipping, and then I'll show you how you can add these products to your stores and start selling. Not the products to avoid, of course, but the products that you can sell. So the products that we want to avoid drop shipping on Amazon because we don't want any issues, we don't want any lawsuits coming our way, and we don't want our Amazon seller account to get suspended. So we want to stay away from hazardous materials, from liquids, especially flammable liquids, medicines, supplements, because we're not doctors items that have a choking hazard especially toys small small toys we don't want to get into any of that type of trouble no tobacco no firearms no ammunition nothing of that sort okay so stay away from that no drugs no paraphernalia we're not going to sell products from apple from sony from microsoft and from any other big brand that you've heard of before those are big brands they do not want you reselling their product however i will show you of course what products you can sell what suppliers you can use so that you won't get into any of this type of trouble okay so how do we actually start selling on amazon this is step number four out of the five steps to learn how to sell on amazon successfully and make your first few sales right after watching this video. So step number one is to connect Amazon to AutoDS. Now I've mentioned AutoDS in this video, it'll help you automate your business. And in automating, I mean, all of the products that you're gonna add from your suppliers to Amazon will be done so automatically through the AutoDS dropshipping tool. And it's gonna help automate your business when it comes to price monitoring and stock monitoring. So if the price changes on your supplier's website or the stock changes on your supplier's website, those same changes will also be made on your Amazon sales account. So for example, if your supplier raises the price from $10 to $20, you don't want to lose those $10 because you didn't also change the price also on your Amazon store. And the same goes for the stock status. If the product goes out of stock on your supplier's website, you don't want to be selling a product that's out of stock. And then you'll have to start canceling orders and refunding your buyers. And then you'll have some unsatisfied customers. Nobody wants that. And that is why we need automation, especially once we start to scale our business and you start to sell hundreds of products, start making lots of sales, lots of profits, the only way to keep up and keep scaling and keep profiting more and more is through dropshipping automation. And this is where AutoDS comes in. Now, of course, there are more things like it helps you add products really quickly in just a few seconds. I'm going to show you everything soon. And it also helps automate your order. So as soon as an order comes in from your buyers, it'll get sent out automatically, even while you're traveling or sleeping or simply not in front of your computer. This way, your customers are also going to get their products super fast because everything is simply being automated for you. The only thing that you need to do is find winning products and add them to your store, all of which you have shortcuts to the best winning products from everything that I just showed you. But let's go ahead and understand exactly how this works. So first, just go to autods.com and register for your $1 trial. Once you do that, you'll be inside the system. Now you simply need to add your Amazon store. So first, add your Amazon store subscription if you haven't done so yet. If you haven't done it when you registered your account, so just do it by going to settings, plans and add-ons, and make sure that the Amazon plan is activated. Next, simply click right here on your stores on the top left, click on add store, select Amazon as your store type, click continue and proceed to the connection process. Everything here is pretty seamless. Once that happens, you're connected and you can start automating your business. So after you easily connected your Amazon store to AutoDS, it's time to start adding your products. But before that, we want to set our shipping policies, our return policies, so that when we add our products, they'll have the right policies in them. Our customers will understand exactly when the products are going to ship out, what the return policies are. And all of this, of course, is mandatory to start selling on Amazon. So now make sure that you have the professional plan so that you can offer 
offer faster shipping and more options that you'll need to be able to enter and win the buy box. Now, one more thing that's really important to mention is no matter what supplier you're going to use, you can get a better sourcing request from AutoDS. And this is a huge advantage that you can have over other dropshippers. So for example, here I am on the products page and here's some dog toy that I have on one of my stores. I can click right here on more options and make a sourcing request. Now, once I made that sourcing request, once I go to the order screen, I have this sourcing request option here. And here I can see all of the products that I asked a sourcing request for. So what this means is AutoDS is now going to search for a better supplier for this product that either has faster shipping, a lower price so that I can make more profit. And this product will reach my buyers so that I can not only make more profit, but it's also going to reach my buyer faster. It's a win-win situation. And this way we can find better suppliers to work with. So right now I just created the request so we can see that the sourcing status is in progress. And once the AutoDS system finds a better supplier, a better source for this product, I'm going to see the new source price here, the shipping time, and I can add this new source to my product. So no matter what supplier you're using, you can make a sourcing request to find an even better one. So that being said, let's move over to the next step. We connected Amazon to AutoDS. We're ready to start automating our business. Now we want to set our break even in our profit percentage and more things. So for that, we're simply going to head over to AutoDS, click on settings. I'm going to make this one quick because you have all of the explanations on AutoDS's website and YouTube channel. So first I'm going to add a supplier and I'm going to say every time I add a product from AliExpress from China or from the United States, I'm going to click on add supplier. And now I can add the supplier settings for every time I add a product from AliExpress US. Of course, I can do the same thing for AliExpress China and other regions and about 30 more dropshipping suppliers, including Timu, which is a new supplier. Many people call it the AliExpress killer because they're a huge, huge competitor offering 90 day returns and faster shipping times than AliExpress, AutoDS sourcing, Shopify, Macy's, Kohl's, Catch, and so many other suppliers. But let's just keep it simple for now. AliExpress US, I can enter the default product quantity, what shipping methods I want to use and other options. And what I want to do is I want to first go to the pricing. Now, remember how I showed you that there are referral fees on Amazon. Let's say that I'm going to sell products around the 15% referral fees. So my break even is 15%. And on top of that, I want to make another, let's say 50% in profit. And you can also add a selected dollar amount for your profits. I can also do more things like make dynamic profits depending on the price ranges of the product. But let's again keep things simple for now and leave it at this. So my break even is 15%. So when I add a product, AutoDS is going to take into consideration that I have 15% fees on this product and then it's going to add 50% more profit. So for example, if a product costs $100 and I want to make 50% profit and another 30 cents because that's what I have down here, then the total product price is going to be sold for $100. $176. Then I've got my orders so I can automate my orders and have them sent out as soon as they come in and other settings that we don't really need to get into now. So I'm going to save my settings and that is how we set our break even and profit percentages. Next, we're going to talk about configuring return and shipping policies on Amazon. This is really important before we start adding our products. So how is this done? And then I'm going to show you how to add your products and how to add good products that have a really, really high chance of selling using years and years of product research experience. So here I am back on my Amazon seller account. I'm going to click here on this wheel and I'm going to click on account info. Here we can see my seller profile. So my current seller account is active e-commerce drop LLC, as I have showed you before. I've got the professional account, which is needed for automation and for better settings. Fulfillment by Amazon is registered, even though I'm not going to use it. And I've also got Amazon business registered. But what do we actually need to do here? So I'm going to click here on return address and shipping settings. This is how I'm going to set my return policies and my shipping policies, which is really important to do before we start adding our first products. So here on the return settings, I'm applying for Amazon USA, Canada and Mexico isn't really important right now, even though I can also sell there, especially Canada, which is a good choice. But let's keep it again, simple, basic so that we can start making our first sales. So the return authorization is going to be in policy Amazon. It's enrolled. As you can see, I'm enrolled for Amazon prepaid return labels. The label type is going to be Amazon prepaid. The return merchandise authorization or RMA is going to be on the seller. I'm going to provide the buyer with the return label and labels for exempt items is seller prepaid. So this means that I'm going to provide my buyer with a return label if they want to open a return request. And what I'm going to have to do then is notify my supplier that I need a return label. And of course, if I'm eligible for one, I'm going to get one from my 
my supplier and I'm going to send that return label to my customer on Amazon. And once the customer returns it, I can check by the tracking label that I have on the return label. Then I'm going to get a refund from my supplier and I'll be able to send the refund to my buyer. Then we've got click here to write instructions, which is important to do. So we're going to click on that and we're going to write a message to our buyer. Please wait for the return label before sending the item back. So this way they will not use our default return address, which I will show you in a second. Okay, so we're gonna add this message. So this way the buyer will know that they need to wait for a return label. But we also need to add a return address. We don't actually want the buyer to return it to this return address because we're dropshipping, we're going to be sending the products from multiple warehouses. So we don't know exactly where they need to return it until we actually apply for a return label ourselves through our supplier. So here we're still gonna have to enter a default return address. So I'm going to click here on the edit button and I'm going to select in this case, my California warehouse, which is just a random address that I got from California where they have lots of warehouses. And I'm going to use this return address for products that I'm shipping from the US. If I'm shipping from China, I'm going to use a different address in China. Okay, so I'm going to click on use this address. Okay, and we can see right here, on USA, I'm gonna use the California warehouse. Now, if you have more than one return address, and in this case we do, because we could be selling from different locations, I could click on manage your return address and I can add a new address. And this time, instead of USA, I'm gonna put one in China. In case I'm shipping from China, I want the return to be to China. So in this case, I'm going to enter an address in China, and then I'll also be able to choose that as the return service once and if I get a return request from my buyers from a product that was shipped from China. Okay, so that's exactly how you're gonna do that. And again, we've set a message to tell the buyer to wait for the return label so that they won't actually send it to one of these return addresses. So that is how we're gonna set our return policies on Amazon. But what about the shipping policy? So again, from the account info on Amazon, I clicked on shipping settings and that opened up this page right here. And this is the current template that I have. This is for a product that I imported that's being shipped from the US. That's again, this product right here that's shipped from the United States. So in this case, I created a USA shipping zone, but we can also create China shipping zones and other regions depending on where we're drop shipping from. So what you can do is click on create a new shipping template, but let me show you the one that I created. So I'm going to click on edit template and I'm going to scroll down here to domestic shipping. So I simply selected all of the 50 countries in the United States. And since California is the warehouse, it has a faster transit time. It means how long it takes the product to reach our buyers as soon as it's shipped. And as soon as it's shipped is the handling time, which I'll show you in a second. So as we can see here, I've got $0 on shipping, meaning I'm offering free shipping to my buyers. Even if I'm paying for shipping through AliExpress or whatever supplier I'm using, AutoDS can take that shipping price, include it in the source price, and we're still gonna keep our 50% profit or whatever it is while we're gonna offer free shipping to our buyers. So I've got shipping on $0, and this is for standard shipping. I don't have expedited shipping, two-day delivery, or one-day delivery. I can also add international shipping, but again, we're gonna keep things simple at the start. So it's that simple to create a shipping template. I can click here to create a new shipping template. So if I go back one step, you can see here that I've got this shipping template and this is what I'm using for the product that I added from the US. And you can see right here the transit time, the shipping free, and that's how simple it is to create your shipping policy. So that's shipping templates right here. And here I can click on general shipping settings. As we can see, the address name is my California warehouse. I've got the address. And as I scroll down here, I can set the handling time. So this is how long it takes to ship out the product. I can click on edit right here. And I've set two days for how long it takes me to provide a shipping label. Because it's from the US to the US, I know that we're gonna make it in this handling time and it's no problem at all. And that is exactly what we're seeing here on the product page where I won the buy box. I'm first place and I usually ship within two to three days from my seller account. So that is how we configure our return and shipping policies. Now let's finally import our first product. Now before before we import the product to our store, we want to make sure that we, well, can actually import it and add it to our Amazon store. So in order to do that, here's exactly what you need to know. So let's start with the conventional method of just going to Amazon's best sellers, or you know what, let's even go to their movers and shakers to find products that are trending right now. And I wanna look for an evergreen product that can sell all year long. Like for example, check out this vegetable chopper spiralizer tool right here. Okay, I'm gonna click on that. And I wanna make sure that there's a market for this. I wanna make sure that there's actually demand for this product. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna search for a spiralizer vegetable chopper on Amazon. And I wanna see what the demand is for these types of products. So as you can see, I'm scrolling down and you can see just how many people are purchasing this product right now. For example, this one right here 
has over 90,000 people who bought it just in the last month. This one right here, 600 in the last month, 10,000 in the last month, 200 in the last month, over 10,000 in the last month. So as you can see, this is a pretty popular product that's trending right now. And this is one of those evergreen products that sell all year long. So let's say I wanna sell one of these products. I wanna add them to my store. In order to do that, I'm going to enter the product listing and I'm going to look for the have one to sell, sell on Amazon button that we have right here on the right side. So just scroll down a bit, look on the right side and you won't be able to see this if you're logged into your Amazon account. Right now I'm not logged in. So I can see this have one to sell button. But if you're logged in, you won't see that button. You're gonna have to do it the other way around. You're gonna have to go to your Amazon seller account, in this case, right here. And I'm gonna click on the menu on the top left. And I'm going to go to catalog and click on add products. Now here, I can check to see if I can actually resell this product. Before I do that, I am going to look for a supplier for this product to make sure that I can actually purchase this product from someone, from one of the suppliers, from one of the sources once I make a sell. But first I wanna check if I can even resell this product. So I'm just gonna grab the products ASIN Okay, I can do that by grabbing it from up here in the URL, but if you're not sure what the ASIN looks like, you can just conduct a search on your browser for the word ASIN, and you'll find it here under product information. So we got the ASIN, this is the ASIN right here. I'm going to copy it. Then I'm gonna go back to the add product section. And here I'm going to put the ASIN right here. Because again, we are going to enter buy boxes. We're not creating our own listings. It's gonna take way too much time to create our own product on Amazon, to register the brand and to do all of that. This is not dropshipping. this is not automation. So we're going to enter the buy box, make a better offer from this seller so that when anyone adds this product to their cart, especially on a product that's selling hundreds of products per month, we're gonna be making those sales. So in order to do that, we're gonna enter the ASIN right here when we clicked on add a new product. Then I'm gonna click on search. Now this is the thing, you need to be eligible to sell this product. And many of these products require brand approvals. And I'm gonna show you how you can work around that. Okay, so this one has limitations. You don't even have the option to apply to sell this product. So this is one example, I cannot resell this product. Let's just check out another one really quick before I show you the best workaround for this. Let's try this vegetable chopper right here. Okay, I'm gonna enter the ASIN right here and I'm gonna click on search. Here, I actually have a an option to sell a new or a used product. However, this one still requires brand registry. So if I click on new, I need to apply to sell this product. So after I click on that, you can see right here that it says you need approval to sell this product, request approval. I'm not gonna do that, it's gonna take way too much time. So what is the trick to these brand approvals? How can we work around it and find products where we can actually enter the buy box, just like I did with this dog button record talking pet communication toy right here. So first of all, we can try to get help from the Jungle Scout free extension. So let's say I wanna search for this product and see how well it's selling. So I'm gonna search for it on Amazon and the extension right here, you can see that it's loading up with the product's details and we can see how many other sellers are selling this product. Now, as you can see here, one seller for this product and one seller for this product. So if we only have one seller, those brands will most likely require approval. We wanna find those products that are, first of all, not fulfilled by Amazon. So we don't have this prime icon here because if it's fulfilled by Amazon, we won't be able to compete with those sellers. So what sellers can we compete with? Those that are not prime and those that have a number of sellers sellers who are entering that buy box. So how are we gonna do that without scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and using this extension? Here is the number one way to enter the buy box. So first, look for the product that you wanna sell, make sure that it's trending, just like that search that I showed you. Only here, I'm gonna rely on the winning products because I know that these products are trending right now and I can find the supplier and I can do it without brand approval. So check it out, I'm just gonna scroll a bit and let's choose one of these products that we have on the winning products like this lower back pain relief product right here. This of course is a good dropshipping product. All of the products under winning products are dropshipping products. And we can see right here that the ad copy for this product got about 6,000 engagements, over 700 comments, over a thousand shares. So this one is selling pretty well for this seller. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take this product and I'm gonna search for it on Amazon. So I'm gonna copy some of the title, then I'm gonna head over to Amazon and I'm gonna search for this specific product. Only now I can see again that 200 are buying this in the last month 4,000 are buying a similar product, 2,000 are buying another type of this product, 
200 and so forth. But I wanna find the sellers where I can actually enter the buy box. So what I'm gonna do here is on the sort buy, instead of featured, I'm gonna go for newest arrivals. And here I can find the sellers who just created the ASIN for this product. And I will most likely be able to enter the buy box. Okay, so I can see that there's a lot of new sellers who are listing this product right here. As we can see on the winning products, it's the same product. We've got the pink variation, the blue variation, and it looks exactly like this. But let's also make sure that we have a supplier for these products. Even though we can source it later on with AutoDS and find even cheaper suppliers, we still wanna make sure that we can find a supplier for this product. So I'm gonna do the same search on AliExpress. And of course, there are other ways to find the product on AliExpress. For example, I can right click on the image right here and I can do a Google search. I can click on search image with Google and it's gonna find this image on other websites like AliExpress and other sellers, other websites who are selling this product. Okay, but in this case, I'm just gonna head to AliExpress search for the product and I can see all of these results right here. For example, let's go to one that looks exactly the same, which is this one right here. Okay, so I can see that this seller right here is selling it for $12.90, but I still wanna maybe be able to find a cheaper one that's also selling it a lot, like this one right here for $3. There's probably gonna be a shipping price. Yes, yeah, $7.86. So this one is about $11. And let me just try another one. This one right here for $10.50. Looks like they ship a little bit quicker. So this one can get delivered within 12 days, which is pretty quick. So I'm going to close the other ones and it costs 10 and a half dollars with free shipping. We've also got free returns, which is great because we're also gonna offer free returns on our Amazon accounts, which again, if we go back to the return settings on Amazon, we can click on return program settings right here and we can click right here. I wanna offer free returns for all items or for some of the items and you can select which ones. Okay, so that's again, a little bit about the return settings. So this is the right seller that we wanna buy from. This is the right supplier that we wanna use. Unless of course we found the cheaper source on AutoDS, but if not, we're gonna use this seller right here. So we've got the same exact product right here. Let's see if we can sell this product on Amazon. So let's click on one of the listings and enter it right here. So you can see that this seller right here created the ASIN for this product. He created the product page. So of course they did all the hard work for us. Only this one takes a long time. In this case, from December to January, where we can have it delivered about one to two months before that. So we can offer much faster shipping than this seller right here. So I won't have the have one to sell button here because I'm already logged into my Amazon account. So again, I'm just going to copy the ASIN once again, right click copy. Then I'm gonna go back to Amazon and I'm going to add a new product. So again, I'm gonna click on add products and I'm gonna put the ASIN right here and click on search. Okay, it found the product and as you can see, I have the button to sell this product without having to request any approval. So again, I'm gonna click on select a condition. I'm gonna go with new. Then I'm gonna click on sell this product. Now here is how I can import this product to my store. Okay, I need to set in all the settings, like what price I wanna sell it for, but I'm not sure because I need to see my break even settings. That's why I'm going to import the product through AutoDS the quantity, and of course, we're gonna ship this item ourselves. We're not gonna use Fulfilled by Amazon, and the quantity and what marketplaces and so forth. But again, we wanna have price automation, stock automation, automatic orders, and the rest of the automation settings. We wanna have the sourcing options and all of that. So in order to do that, we're not gonna upload the product from here. I'm gonna head back to AutoDS, and I'm gonna click on Add Product, and single product. Now it's asking me, what is the Amazon product that we wanna sell? Or what is that ASIN where we want to enter the buy box? So again, I've got it copied right here. This is the product, this is the buy box that we're going to enter right now. Then I'm gonna go back to AutoDS and enter this as the ASIN. Next is the supplier URL. So who is the supplier for this product? And of course, this is my supplier right here. So I'm just going to copy the URL for this product and I'm gonna paste it right here under the supplier URL. So in this case, the supplier source is AliExpress and I'm gonna click on edit now quick so that I can optimize some parts of this product before publishing it on my Amazon store. And as we can see, I've got the product right here on my drafts page. So there are some things that I cannot change, like the product's title, as you can see here, it's grayed out. I cannot touch the brand. I cannot touch the product description because I'm entering the buy box of a product that's already on Amazon. So I cannot change it because the seller already put in the hard work for us. Only what we can control is for example, the product tags so that we can of course analyze our products later and see which tags are selling well, which ones we need to replace and remove. So in this case, I'm gonna add another tag called pillows. So later I can, for example, go to my products page, search for the pillows tag, see how pillows are selling and make my decisions from there. And of course I wanna have stock monitoring, price monitoring and automatic orders on because without automation, scaling will simply not be possible. And another cool thing is that I can add more variations 
if the seller has them, but this one is only selling the gray version, so I cannot add more variations to this product. But if I could, then of course I can grab more variation colors right here in AliExpress. Then I've got the product images, which we cannot touch because again, that's what the seller created on Amazon. And we've got the item specifications, which once again, we cannot change that. What we can change, however, of course, is the price. So if I click on the variation settings, we can see that I've got my break even set right here. So it's 15% and I've got my selling price so I can choose for example to round it to 99 cents so it's going to be 14.99 but let's see exactly how much this seller is selling it for so he's selling it for 37.99 you know what let's kill him in the buy box let's sell this one for 29.99 and of course don't mind the pink variation we can change it to the gray one but this is just a quick example of how we're going to do it and of course when we get an order we are going to send out the correct variation color in any case once we are done we're going to click on save and import and that is pretty much all there is to it. This product is now gonna be added to our Amazon store and we can start selling it right away. Now, it could probably take a few days for the product to win the buy box on Amazon. You're not gonna see it right away. You will see that you are another seller for this product, but this seller is still gonna be first place for a couple of days until Amazon sees that you have a cheaper price you have better shipping, and then you're gonna take over the buy box like I showed you with the previous product. So as we can see, the import process finished and it moved from drafts to the product section of my store. So we can see the product right here. And this means that it's actually live on my Amazon store. So if I go back to my Amazon Seller Central, I'm gonna click right here on the top left, hover over inventory and click on manage all inventory so I could see all my products. Now, instead of the two dog toy variations that I showed you before, we can see the new product that I just added. Okay, so we can see it right here on Amazon. Now, Amazon is reviewing the listing, so right now it's incomplete, but in just a few minutes to a few hours, it's gonna to move to the active status. And that means that we're also gonna be able to see it right here once we refresh this product page on Amazon. By the time you're watching this video, of course, you can go to this listing and you can see that I am the seller who won the buy box here. And that is how simple it is to add products to your Amazon store, get the brand approval, and understand how to find these products that are not only best sellers and that are trending right now, but also how to find products that you can pass the brand approval and not put up with requesting for approval and all of the time consuming things that come with that. Now I have a couple of more links inside the Amazon cheat sheet. Again, hashtag Amazon 2024. Leave that in the comments below with what you learned from this video and I will send you this cheat sheet. And of course, do like and share this video if you appreciate the value and subscribe subscribe to our YouTube channel if these are the types of videos that you love to watch. We have hundreds of tutorials, hundreds of winning products, even thousands of winning products, and so much more going on there. Now, once we listed our products, it's inevitable. These are winning products. We listed them on Amazon. There's millions of online shoppers on Amazon every day. We're gonna start making sales. And once that happens, it's finally time to start fulfilling our orders. Now, once an order comes in, we're gonna see it here on the orders page on AutoDS. So you can see another pet toy that sold a lot on my Amazon store. Store. So what we can see here is all of the orders and all of the buyer's information. So if I click on one of these orders, I can see the buyer's information. I can see the order information and information about the product, like where we're getting it from, like who the supplier is, the buy variant ID, the region where we're getting it from, even though of course we can source and get better prices and get faster shipping, as I mentioned in this video. In any case, when an order comes in today on Amazon, so it's going to look like this. And in order to synchronize all of the buyer's details from your Amazon orders page to AutoDS, so in order for all of the buyer details to show up, what we're going to have to use is the Marketplace Helper extension. It's absolutely free. You've got the link to it again in the cheat sheet. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to download and install this extension. And once I do that, I'm going to have this icon right up here. And this is the Marketplace Helper extension. And this extension is going to help copy all of the addresses that I have on my Amazon orders page from Amazon Seller Central into the orders page on AutoDS so that I can fulfill the orders automatically or manually, whatever I choose. But I'll have all the information inside the AutoDS system. So I'm gonna connect it to my Amazon store really easily. Then I'm gonna select a sync range to tell the system how far back to go on my Amazon orders and sync them. So I can choose the last 24 hours, the last seven days, or all of my orders. So of course I'm gonna choose all to sync all of my orders and I'm gonna click on start sync. Now in a few minutes, all of the buyer's details from the Amazon Seller Central orders page is gonna move on to here so that I can fulfill my orders and I'm gonna have all of the buyer order details as we can see right here. And there's a video link explaining how to do that of course in the cheat sheet. So this is the orders page 
this is what it looks like. So once you get an order, you can fulfill it manually or automatically. If we choose the manual method, we're gonna click on the supplier's link right here for the product. Then we're gonna have to add it to our carts, check out and put the customer's details. So we're gonna copy and paste the customer's name and the address and the phone number and everything. And we're gonna transfer it over to our supplier and make sure that they ship out the order on time. Now this is the manual way of doing it. And once you hit five orders, 10 orders, 15 plus orders per day, you do not wanna spend all day just fulfilling orders manually. So that is why we have the automated order service. And of course we have more information on that inside the cheat sheet. But basically we've got automatic orders and fulfilled by AutoDS. These are two order automation systems that we have ready to automate your orders. The main difference between them is that automatic orders is gonna use your buyer accounts on your supplier's websites. But if using AutoDS's private suppliers and product sourcing and all of the best automation features that we have ready for 2024, you're gonna be using the fulfilled by AutoDS, which means AutoDS will use their own buyer accounts. You just have to top up balance so that AutoDS can pay for those orders and everything will be automated for you. The only thing that you'll need to do manually is update tracking information once that's available. So you're gonna have to get the details from AutoDS or from your suppliers if you did it manually and update the Amazon Seller Central on the orders page so that your customers will get the tracking information and Amazon will see that you did ship out the orders. But once you have automatic orders automated for you, it's gonna make your life so much easier and save you so much time that you can invest back into growing your business, opening up more stores, doing more product research and making more sales and profit. So again, more information on that in, in the cheat sheet. There's no reason to go over it more in this video. Besides that, we're gonna have to deal with returns. It's not a big issue. Returns is usually around one to 2% of our business. And again, it's not gonna take up most of our time, but I already went over how to create our return policies and what to do once a customer opens a return request. So we wanna be working with suppliers that offer great return policies. And of course we can find these suppliers on the AutoDS marketplace through the private suppliers and also all of the retail and wholesale suppliers that you can automate your business with, with quick product importing, price and stock monitoring and automatic orders with over 30 dropshipping suppliers, as you can see right here, including new ones, as I mentioned before in this video, like Timu, Kohl's, Macy's, Shane, See Discount, and so much more. So this is what it's all about. Automation, saving time so that you can really scale your business and have more time to spend with your family, with your loved ones, and growing your dropshipping empire. So whether you want to have another side hustle to add to your regular day job, or if you want to turn this into your main hustle and do all of your work online through dropshipping, the possibilities are endless. Once we add automation, there's a huge advantage to it because there's only so much that we can do manually. Now there's many more things inside the AutoDS system that I did not go over. For example, the ability to add virtual assistants to help you with your product research adding products so that you can really spend zero time on your Amazon store and have everything automated for you. But before you do that, make sure that you did do it first, that you did learn how to do it, how to find the right product, start making your first few sales before hiring virtual assistants so that you can teach them the right way how to manage and grow your business. Besides that, you also have an academy. It's included inside the AutoDS subscription. And here you have tons of videos on Amazon and other selling channels on product finding and so many more videos that will help you gain an advantage over your competitors. And all of these videos, again, are absolutely free. All of this academy is included inside your AutoDS subscription. So be sure to check that out. And of course, there are more things that I can just not fit into this video. Now, besides that, all that's left is providing great customer service to our buyers. The better service we offer our customers, the more they'll want to return and purchase from us and refer their friends and their family to also buy from us. And of course, we want to keep our seller accounts active for many, many years forward, because this is a great passive income source once we learn to do it the right way. So take all of the steps that I showed you in this video. Again, hashtag Amazon 2024. Let me know what you learned in this video in the comments below. I will send you this cheat sheet with everything that I went over in this video. And that is pretty much all there is to it. Enjoy the automation, enjoy the extra scaling and enjoy the extra sales and profits. Now I added more additional resources inside the cheat sheet below. Not going to go over it now, but there is more bonus perks inside. And guys, that's it. We're at the end. Good job on making it this far. I hope that you like this video. Don't forget to share and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this. Now, all that's left for you is to take action. Grab this cheat sheet and start from step number one, create your Amazon seller account, do your product research, import your products, bypass the brand approval so that you can enter the buy box and get your listing first place on Amazon and start making sales. Enjoy it. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that you want to know and I will personally answer all of you. Thank you for watching and good luck dropshipping in Amazon in 2024.